Right, let's meet our Late Late Show staffers. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Hi. Now, Beanie, as you can see, each staffer here is holding a musical instrument. However, this is the important part. Only three of them can actually play the instrument they are holding. Your task is to identify which three people can play. Okay, now don't guess now. You can ask some questions to find out from everybody. And before we start, I just want to say this. Tom, I don't know how you're managing to do this, but you, I see you on a Zoom call every day and you are getting better looking with every passing day. And now the addition of a guitar has taken you to quite the hunk. What's happening here? What's your regime at home? How are you doing this? I think I just, I found my lighting. That's the key. <laughs> Uh, you, you get it. I, I watch you every day, and so I've just been taking notes. Wow, that's that's absolutely not true. Well, the question is, like, if he can't play the guitar, where does that like put him on his on his hot scale? In a regular day's work, Tom is like. To, I'm going to say Tom's like a Tom's a six point five. <laughs> in in lockdown, he's jumped to a seven point five, and now with a guitar, he's just a solid nine. Like, if you and your girlfriend ever break up, Tom, this should be your Tinder profile shot. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Beanie, have you got a question for anyone there? Tom, you don't seem to have a strap. Are you uh, just, you know, rocking it without a strap usually when you play? Or what, what's, the, what's going on there? That's a good question. Yeah, the thing is, Beanie, my, my live performing days are behind me. I, so I'm just in a chair or on the couch at home, mm. you know, for family only. Okay. Good question. Let's go to some other people. Let's go to now, Rosie. You've got a trumpet there. When did you? When did you? When did you learn the trumpet, Rosie? Um, in elementary school, mm -hmm. in like, you know, orchestra and took band. And are there chairs for trumpet? Like in an orchestra, do are there are there chairs the way they would be with like violin or viola? Yeah, yeah. You would sit in a chair and have. Uh, your music sheets in front of you still and no I don't I don't think Beanie was asking whether you sit in chairs in an orchestra she was I think we've got the answer to our question that we yeah. need Beanie in that very moment uh yeah, let's go to let's go to Andrew uh and the violin there Andrew what what made you choose the violin? Um, you know, I started playing in middle school in orchestra, and it was just a, a, an instrument that always interests me. And my mom was like, "Yeah, let, let's go for it." So that's always been kind of. Uh... And did you have a violin teacher growing up, Andrew? Yes. What was his or her name? Um, his name was Mr. Um... Oh God, what was his name? <laughs> Mr. Lukens. Mr. Ah. Lukens. Mr. Who? Lukens taught me. Lukens. Wow. Because that feels like a name you'd remember. Well, I was trying, well, I've had a, a well, because we moved. We, we only were there for, for two years and then we moved and then I had to continue. So, yeah. Right. It's, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go to, let's have a look. Now, Melvin, is that also a trumpet you've got there? Yes, this is a trumpet. This is and a trumpet. What was the first piece of music you learned to play on the trumpet, Melvin? Uh, it was classical music by this guy named Johann Sebastian Bach. <laughs> the first piece of music you learned was a piece yes. by Johann Sebastian Bach. And how yes, old were I you at this point? I was 11 point? years old. I wanted to play the drums, but the band teacher said, no, play trumpet. Okay. Melvin feels convincing to me, James. Well, I also think, unlike Rosie, Melvin is holding a trumpet like you would if you played one, whereas... <laughs> Rosie is sort of holding it like it's this kind of small pet. A, a little stuffed animal. Yeah. Stall in the grip. Brian, let's go to you. When you, This keyboard you've got here, when did you purchase this keyboard? Oh, this is a family relic. This was given to me by my father. Okay. And um, you, when, did you, when did you get good at playing the keyboard, Brian? Around 12. Um, I started when I was eight and then um, played some piano competitions and I really enjoyed it. I 
Brian seems serious about his instrument in, in a comforting way. Brian seems so serious, I feel like I'm watching a hostage video. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go to Casey. Now, Casey, well, I'd call this an accordion, is that right? That's correct. Okay. What was... how, did you, how did you pick up an accordion one day? How did, where did that come from? So I actually grew up in a small German town in South Carolina that has an Oktoberfest. So it was kind of like, hey, do you guys want to learn any polka? And then we would perform every year at the Oktoberfest. It's so fun. And how does it, how do you, like, is there a strap? How yeah, you... there's two. So can you see this one? It yeah. holds it. Then there's another one on this side. So it holds it close to your body. I don't know, James, that Casey knows her stuff. Well, Casey knows her stuff, but she also knows her stuff so well, it yeah. makes me wonder whether it's a pre-worked out story. But here's the thing, Beanie, it's not for me to choose. It's all down to I you. So let's, let's make our first pick. So Beanie, out of the six that you've seen, which staffer do you think can play his or her instrument? Who are you gonna go for first? I'm gonna go for Melvin first. I think Melvin really knows. Melvin, the anticipation is killing us. Can you play? Let's find out. <clears throat> oh! Oh, I have been... Yes, Melvin, you even got us with the double bluff. I love it. That double take was... Supreme. So that's one crazy. point, Beanie. Well done. Let's go to our second star for Beanie. It's second, your second pick. Who do you think can play? Oh, I'm really torn. I, I'm we've really got to make it. We've got to make a, a pick here, Beanie. Okay, I think it's. I think it's Casey. All right, let's go with Casey. Casey, you know what I'm about to ask. Can you play? No, I can. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's a definite no. So Beanie, you've got one right, one wrong. It's time for your third and final pick. Who out of Andrew, Tom, Rosie and Brian do you think can play? Uh, oh God, it's so hard. I'm gonna go for Brian. Brian, you know what I'm gonna ask? Can you play? Hi Beanie, hi James. In fact, I can, but wait. Oh, come on, Brian, take it away. Oh, my word. So well done, Brian. Well done, Beanie. So who is our mystery oh, musician there? Let's go down one by one. Andrew, give us a burst on the violin. Andrew can't play. Rosie, give us a burst on the trumpet. <laughs> which, <laughs> which means it must be Tom Tom. Let rip on that guitar. <laughs> oh, look at that. It was oh, Tom. I'm so sorry, I doubted you. It was Tom all along. Thank you so much for playing everybody that was that was wonderful uh andrew casey rosie i don't think we ever want to hear your musical gifts again but thank you so much that was can they play hey guys let's let's put this together as a band can you play us out to break with one more huge hit <laughs> We'll be right back with more of The Late Late Show, everybody. <laughs>